Hi guys, my name is Maria Rose and I am going to do my own highlights today. So this is a video of me as my own guinea pig. So I'm using this box right here. How do you say it? Balayage, balayage. Yeah, that's, yeah, highlights. Just to give you a, a brief history on my hair, I wore it in a pixie cut for 10 years. And then five years ago, I decided to grow it out and I've cut it, you know, I've uh, cut a few inches off throughout the years just to like, I don't know, feel fresh or something. So, um, so this isn't exactly five years of growth, but I have not colored it in, in five years. And I was the dye queen. I dyed my hair red, gray, purple, black of course bleach blonde honey blonde i just i did it all ruined my hair shaved it bald twice it was bad so um lately i have just been feeling so blah you know have you ever felt like that with your hair you just look in the mirror and you're just like you suck you suck hair you know and I, and i try to remain grateful because i am so glad to have hair to to cut to dye to do whatever to so so i always try to kind of balance out those negative thoughts with that but priced around on getting highlights done it was 300 dollars, and i'm like that's about 299 dollars too much you know for me then i found this girl that does highlights in her house she said like 300 bucks and i was just like that's not fair you know i don't get the whole salon experience and it's 300 dollars. so then I just kind of like tabled it. And I was just like, you know what? I'm not even gonna think about highlights. I'm not gonna think about getting my hair done. But then the tables turned. I decided to move to San Diego. My daughters and I are gonna be moving there in two weeks, literally. Um, January 13th, we fly out. We have a beautiful uh, sky rise apartment. The beach is right there. And everything's, everything's ready to go except this hair. I just have been feeling like, you know, I can't bring Virginia hair to San Diego, California. We're gonna highlight it together. Hopefully it turns out good. Um, and that's all, that's all I'll say. I'm not gonna say, we're not, we're gonna manifest positive things. I'm telling you right now, I literally don't know what I'm doing, but that's okay because that's why there are directions. Okay, I got some gloves. I love black gloves. I don't know why, it just makes me feel like it's more professional. I'm like, yes, black gloves, you know, cause we are doing serious work here. Am I alone in that? Sometimes I feel dyslexic. I mean, I just, I, I know I'm not cause I've done the online tests. Shout out to anybody else who relies on Google to make sure that they're sane and normal. Every time, sometimes like I read and I feel like the words just jump all over the place. Like I'll read the last word first. I'm like, what am I doing? Okay, part hair where you normally style it every day. Okay, divide your hair into two sections, left and right. <sighs> okay, so I'm just gonna do this and I will fast forward this part. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. I mean, I, I stayed up really late watching so many tutorials on this. And so if you are really nervous, like I am about doing this and, you know, just live vicariously through this moment, know that you got this. So I basically have done all the little teeny tiny uh, sections that I want. I'm still kind of, you know, picking up layers and, and uh, highlighting some. So you see under here, you see that? I don't know if you can see the color going on. It just like, I just feel like the sun is cascading upon me right now. And 
and this is this is what I needed. Just a fresh, no, it must be too soon because I need to um, wash it and um, style it. So I have a little life or dye hack. And maybe I'm just like late and everybody already knows this. So that could be the case as well. But um, I, after I poured the, the, this bottle in the bowl, I then put this bottle upside down on my counter just to get the last, you know, bit of, of uh, mixture just available just in case and I'm so glad I did it because let me tell you something I'd already be out and I all and I have like I got like t three full tablespoons from doing that definitely doing that again so I am a screenwriter I write movies you can visit my website at puredreamsfilms.com you can follow me at official Maria Rose on Instagram I don't know my Twitter. I've made like, I don't even know how many Twitters or X's and, and I forget them all because I don't use it. Um, Snapchat, Lady Maria Rose, Facebook Maria Rose, but there are a lot of Maria Roses. I need to sue them all, get my name back exclusive, but yeah, that's how you can find me. Or if you have any questions about this process, my movies, anything, you can always email me at maria at puredreamsproductions.com. Oh, look, I see. I love, 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 love the highlight. So, um, film that I'm producing right now is called Son of a Preach. It is about an opioid addicted magician who thinks he's outwitted his habit based on a true story. So we're talking like the prestige meets train spotting. It is a wild ride and hopefully we go into pre-production soon. We've been in development with this film for over five years now and it's just a part of the process. Just a part of the process. You know, because I always tell my team, two things are gonna happen, not four, two things are gonna happen. The film's gonna get made or I'm gonna die. I have settled it. My life, my legacy, my blood, sweat, and tears are going into this production until it's done or there's no, there's no plan B. There's no, there's no other option. Got to be there, be there in the morning when she says hello to the world. So I used to be a singer. And you don't ever really, but well, I guess you could retire. But like I, I always sing, I always love to sing, I always write songs. If you want to check out some of my music, you can go to iTunes, type in Maria Rose, Walking Over Feathers. That's my debut album there. I think we're good. I'm like, I, I want to keep messing with it. But you see, this is what I was talking about. I don't know, we will see, but so far, so lovely. So far, so lovely. I tried to learn how to play piano. I bought a piano and I was like, you know what? If I just had a piano, I would be a master pianist, right? All I need is a piano and I can practice and I can get really good. Wasn't the case. I bought a piano, I played it three times in three years. Oh gosh, that's sad, I just saying it out loud. And you know, isn't, doesn't it suck sometimes when you prove yourself your own inner voice wrong like no maria not quite i almost want to cut up this bottle i see some down there look at me i need more found some because it's just like I, I want like frosted tips 
I feel like a lion right now. Lioness. You know the movie, um, How to Lose Guys, How to, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days? Frost yourself. That's what I feel like I'm doing right now. That's what I feel like I'm doing right now. You know what's so crazy? It's like we speak in typo. It's like the typos that we type, we also speak. Recently, I was driving and I don't know, she's like, because I'm a slow driver. I'm a grandma, proud of it, babe. I am a grandma driver. I have a BMW and I drive it like it is a hooped it. And I do not care. I do not care because I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there, Lord willing. I'm going to get there. I'm not going to play Russian roulette with my life to save seven minutes and see you at the red light. I don't speed, I take my time, and that's how I drive, even in an emergency. Why? Because I'm gonna get there. I'll go maybe like five, about 10 above, you know, I'll go like, no, 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 five. I'll go like 70 on a 65, you know, I'll do 75 on a 70, but that's about it. That's about as fast as Nana goes. <laughs> now I'm getting a little nervous, okay. Nervous because it's like turning quickly and it's like I want it to turn, but just, you know, this gradual thing. And this, I guess, is gonna turn faster because I'm like anxious. I want this side to hurry up and look like this side, but I did this side first. So I'm just going to be patient, paciencia. I'm just loving this little piece in the front. I like that I didn't do it on both sides. It has a like, I don't know. It has this like vibe of, where I'm like this cartoon character and I just have that one little streak and there's a story behind it. And the story is, I, I was dyeing my hair and right in the middle of dyeing my hair, I had only done this little streak. I was gonna do the other side, but something caught on fire downstairs and I rushed downstairs, but I couldn't put out the fire in time. So I had to run out of the house, just wearing a towel, towel on my shoulders, towel around my body. I'm outside of the house, looking at my home burning in flames before my eyes. And I have this drink, this one piece of dyed hair. <laughs> now you see why I'm a screenwriter, because I love this stuff. I could think of stories all day. And you know what, as a matter of fact, I have even gotten full plot lines. I'm talking about first, second, third act in a dream. Two of my stories, um, one of my films and one of my books. I also am a published author. So if you wanna look at my books, you can type in Maria Rose Fourth in Lexington or Maria Rose Chase or Maria Rose Betrothed Volume One. So a few of my story ideas actually came in a dream. Like literally I woke up and I was like, whoa, what just happened? Like I saw everything and I wasn't even the main character. Okay, um, one of my dreams, I wasn't even a character at all. I was just watching the story. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. But it was kind of dark and I don't write dark stuff. I mean like this, the Son of a Preach film that I told you about is dark, but in a redemptive way. I mean, it has a redemptive, you know, turn to it. So, so it is 1.06. I'm gonna leave this on for like 30 more minutes and then I'll wash it out. Well, no, I'm gonna do the toner. Do the directions. The directions say to rinse, tone, and style. So after this, I'm going to rinse it, tone it. And what I will do is well, I guess I'll do like a little quick video of me toning it and then leave mask on for 10 minutes, rinse hair again. Ooh, okay. Oh, I feel so much better because at the beginning of this video, if, if you if you saw the beginning, you know, I was so scared, but it's like, do it scared, do it scared. It's just hair. I just got out of the shower and I actually am not going to use a toner because I, I love this. I love the layers. I love the color and I don't want it to change. Okay, so this is the final product and I am absolutely loving it. I just, I love the layers under here and just flipping it around. I just love it, love it so much. Oh my gosh, okay. 
I mean, for 13 bucks, you cannot beat it. I love, love, love it. And yes, this was my little tutorial. Thanks for watching. This was fun.